and now I'm back and they repaired the star road and I got me a big thing of cake right next to me and I'm gonna be eating them like watching the ending and and now we get to watch all the endings of the characters Mallow has happily became Prince um, And he's all like, yeah, I'm awesome. Should have got me some milk with this. And I think like every star likes assimilates to every main character. I don't know. I'm just trying to make the game much deeper than it actually is. And Bowser's, he's rebuilding his castle. And he's all like, hey, what you doing? Quit flying in my freaking clown cart. And the shy guy's like, fuck you, I'm gonna drive it to my freaking girl's house, we're gonna fuck in it, yeah! <laughs> I am still a teenager at heart, I love it. <clears throat> and there's Johnny Jonathan, and he's all like, I'm watch out at the sea. Do you have a backstory? I even wondered that when I was a kid. Man, I should have let this play like last video. And the cookie or the Yoshis are racing. A race that I really couldn't do because I sucked at this game. Then Boshi and Croco form together to make a gay partnership. While Yoshi get all the females. Mm. That's some good cake though. I made it myself. I don't think it would be good. It would make me a fat ass if I'm eating my own cake. And Todowski, he's he formed his own choir. And Frog Fuchsias is obviously part of it, along with his, uh, frog salesman who's hiding in the bushes. Is this gonna be the Mushroom Kingdom? I don't know. It's, uh, what's this guy's face? Uh, Bowyer, or Booster, and they just got married, I think, and I think she's trying to run away from him, actually, because she fell out of the sky. They came up with some really good endings for this game. It makes me want to play Chrono Trigger. But no, that's not going to be a future Let's Play. He's like, yeah, thank you for playing. <laughs> Bling! You got a wink. There you go. And here's the awesome ending that we've all been waiting for. Hopefully it's less than ten minutes. And there's Luigi's only appearance in the whole game. As noted by Chigga Conroy. And Mick Gammer. And I'm not gonna read the names. Man, I ran out of cake to eat. I'm fat. Oh well. I had some tea and some cake. Over the last few videos. This kinda reminds me of something you'd see at Disneyland. Hey, look, there's Frog Fuchsius. I wonder what the JB is for. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, there's the tadpoles, too, and they can fly. Oh, I need some milk. Wow, look at that giant bobble. And it's all being carried by the moles. Hey, there's Dinah and Mite. Dun, 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 dun. I mean, if it really comes down to it, I could just fast forward this video because nobody really cares about the rest of these characters. Here's Bowser's old castle. I don't know if it ever gets completely rebuilt. They need to make a Mario RPG 3 or 2. And Croco, he steals from them and with his little henchmen. And he's like, hey, get back here! Eh, it must be like very uncomfortable like driving around in a car that got slept in. And there's Valentina. I'm so, kind of glad that some of the bosses actually lived. See, that's how you gotta make you gotta make boss characters, but not the real bosses. You gotta have bad guy characters and other characters to fight the characters because that's how you have development. Mm, I'm out of milk, and there's Booster in his little train, and they're still trying to catch a beetle. I wonder why he was obsessed with beetles. I thought he was like a reference character to, uh, what's that guy named, uh, Bowser's, I mean, uh, Wario. Doesn't he look like Wario? He does his little arm thing and everything, he swings him. 
Oh, now they stole it from him. And now Booster's in his crown cart, and they're all getting chased by, uh, what are those things called? Flies or beetles. By the way, over there, you could have seen Bowser's wearing with fire coming out of his mouth. That's his only on-screen appearance of actually using fireballs. And there's Shysters! And I got a quick question. Shysters were actually... Oh, okay, they're showing all the, uh, enemies, the bad guys. I thought, I knew they were, like, a little bit offed. Anyway. There's Mac, uh, Boyer, and, uh, what's that guy name? I forgot his name. And you see Smithy riding on his little castle thing. Yadrovich, Yadrovich. It was Mac, Yadrovich, and Boyer. Anybody else? There's Johnny with his walking ship of... Of uh, what's those guys' name? Of those epic fish? No, of uh, the uh, jellyfish. And now it's Disneyland at night when they walk through with their parade stuff. Anyway, you could have seen the uh, squid's arms coming out in the beginning, and now they're showing off all the multicolored toads whose hats can glow, which is kind of cool actually. I wonder what happened. Why is Peach like? The princess of the toads, and she looks so human. And everybody else looks like toads. Somebody on DeviantArt drew like a little comic, like like she got turned into a human. By like somebody who like wanted to take over the castle. But they're all like, how is this supposed to work? Anyway, you see a mushroom and some more toads, and then you see a flower. I bet you we're going to see a star next. If we do, I deserve 40,000 cool points. Oh, nope, we see a Yoshi. Being ridden on by some toad that we don't know. Look at the little toads go right in front of Disneyland. And he's all like, hey, mom, I'm finna go to Disneyland on a Yoshi. Anyway, here's Mario and Peach waving goodbye. What about Gino? I want some more Gino, all the fanboys said. And then Square was all like, no more Gino because he's our character. There's Gino! So I guess you could technically say this is his last off-screen appearance. But technically, I consider the doll as his last off-screen appearance. They should have brought the doll along with them. Like on the star or something. Anyway, yeah. Ah, look at Disneyland. Actually, that's the Mushroom Kingdom, but when you just look at it, what do you think of? Alright, look at all the fireworks. I remember somebody once told me that, like, you gotta get the fireworks back at, uh, Mole Town and, like, give them to them. I, I never knew how to do that. Even though, like, I played this game, like, a million times, but... Whatever. Here we are. They say, like, depending on how many you gave to them, like, we'll just keep, like, flashing. But you know what? I didn't give them any. Oh, wait. Mushroom! Come on, where's the star at? Aw, oh, man, we only got a mushroom. You can't eat mu- Well, yeah, you can. Ah, uh, that's not Gino. That's just the typical star, isn't it? I hope it is, because... Gino needs to come back. And, like, being another game for us, because we really miss Gino. A lot. This is so sad! This is, like, the sweetest RPG ever, even if it was... Uh Oh, that's why Gino can't come back. He's the D of the end. Ha 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 ha. Anyway, yeah. So, this was Mario RPG. Hmm. It's so sad. I loved this game when I was a child. And they're gonna play this game. I mean, they're gonna play this music. That's the Mario theme. I mean, like, I feel like I should be crying right now. But, like, this game didn't have that much character development. Quick review over this game. It had great graphics. The gameplay was a little easy, but it was it was something that you could like do until the ending, which is stupidly hard. But that's how a lot of my RPG games are. The music, the music was the best, but it was probably because it was done by Square. So I give this game a four out of five. Not really. I give it a five out of five, just because I love this game. Is it Chrono Trigger? No, but it's the next thing next to tr Chrono Trigger. Because it was like one of the only RPGs we played. That and, uh, what's that game called? Final Fantasy 6. Or 4. For the NES. So, 
Ah, I just completed another game as a Let's Play. And this is pretty much my only long-term game that I've done left. I should have done this game last, but, you know, I didn't feel like it. So, I think it's glad to say that we can play the theme song one more time. So... See you guys!